Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, Sunday uh, the 16th. Thought it was the 17th earlier, but it's the 16th. Uh, afternoon, nice fall day. The leaves are really ran down. Plus, uh, I pulled, uh, pushed them all here in the middle. This is my badminton court. We'll give you a little premise and then we'll go into uh, the video. This is about the uh, steel, a little unscientific test here. These are dry leaves, uh, fairly equally distributed. I'm going to turn each blower on to high, high, uh, as full up as it will go, full throttle. And I just wanted to demo the pattern and how far it would blow. This is a badminton cord. It's uh, 22 feet wide. The white line there signifies that both all the blowers are on the start on the line here. It's 22 feet to the net and then uh, 44 feet to the uh, far line on the other side. So we'll see just what happens, like I said, with the blowers. We've got uh, in this corner on the right, we've got the Echo PB9010T. So that's my newer unit. In the middle, we have the Billy Goat with the 13 horse Honda. It's one of their top motors. They do have a Vanguard one, but uh, this is still a very uh, top-end performer. I think I've got a, the Echo is three or four months old, and this one is a year or two old, but it's, you know, it's current. They still make the model. In this, uh, in the far end on the left, we have the uh, steel BR800X. So we're going to turn them on. And we may make a couple takes here. We're going to see just how far uh, it blows here, uh, what kind of pattern and distance we get. Like again, this is my badminton cord. It's 22 feet wide, 22 feet to the net, 44 feet to the other white line. So let me set the camera down and get them fired up and we'll see what we have here. So. Uh, the uh, Billy Goat push blower in the middle, the still BR800X on the left, and the PB9010T Echo on the right. Here we go. Let's see. Hopefully you'll be able to see something there. Give me a minute to get them fired up.
All right, so that's uh, all three units. On the left here, we have the uh, Echo, I mean the Billig uh, Steel PBR 800X. So that's the pattern on it. It looks like it blew two feet approximately or so, 24 to 30 inches less than the Echo. All of them here on the line, that's uh, 22 feet to the net. The only one that, uh, and here we have the PB9010T. Uh, Again, uh, full throttle. Uh, we'll walk over there and look. It definitely blew it uh, 24 to 30 inches further than the Echo. So in power, the I mean the steel and power the echo wins the backpack war uh, we'll talk a little more about some other things here uh, either later in this video or the follow-up video here in the middle middle we have the billy goat with the 13 inch honda motor has the widest pattern and blew the furthest we'll walk out here to the edge of the net and compare so very unscientific. The leaves are dry here. I thought it would just make a good day to look here. So uh, the steel on the far end, uh, and here's the line. I'm not sure. I think that's, uh, I forget how far that is, but you can see it. Uh, got it to the line, and the most was maybe a foot short of the uh, a net about 12 to 15 inches short. So that's the pattern here. In the middle, we have the billy goat, which clearly blew it to the net 22 feet and actually two or three feet on the other side of the net, there was a movement of the leaves. I don't know if you can see it there, but I can. So easily to the net. So it outdid the uh, still, um, quite a bit uh, movement uh, three or four feet further and cleaned it pretty well right to the net 22 feet clean and uh, and on the steel uh, five or six feet short of that at least here we have the uh, echo 9010 easily past the line and right up to the edge of the net, no further. Um, very leaves are a little heavier over here on this end, but right to the edge of the net, uh, it kind of stops. My got a little bit beyond, but uh, fairly clean, uh, two or three feet uh, further. So it affected the leaves at least three feet further uh, than the steel did. So the winner in sheer power and blowing is the Echo PB9010T of the backpacks. And of course, uh, the Billy Goat was no surprise to me. It outblew them both. Uh, I own all three machines, owned uh, at least three dozen uh, different uh, backpack blowers over the years. And these are some of the best on the market. Of course, the Red Max is in there and there's some other ones uh, as well but these are the two that people uh, really compare and compete with quite often so there you have it um, we'll do another little ride up now this one uh, I put a different end on it and I find it uh, adds more CFM uh, more volume not as much uh, velocity because this sheet doesn't narrow down but you get to move more leaves a broader area of leaves and then on the uh, billy goat I've trimmed two or three inches off this and opened up the opening it's at least an inch inch and a half wider than stock so again that helps you when you're blowing a wide path and a tall uh, pile of leaves as well. That's my finding. If you want a lot of force and you're dealing with uh, 
um, frozen leaves, wet leaves, heavy leaves in the grass, then you want uh, more velocity. But I, I prefer most of the time, I find they all have enough velocity. I like the more volume. So the one that has the narrowest opening is the Eka uh, Steel. Uh, I would say I'd have to measure it real quick, but I may shoot that in the next video. But uh, the Eka is at least a half inch to an inch wider. And of course, the... Uh, Billy Goat is almost double what everybody else is doing. It's, it's a good two, three inches wider opening, so you can kind of see the the difference. That's the steel. We'll go right over to the Echo. Much bigger there. I don't use the end that has the metal tip because it's narrower. I find this works better. And I don't run the tubing the full length because they have another extension. I just find it makes it hard to maneuver and uh, all this and that. So I prefer it with this much power. You don't need a uh, five foot uh, tubing on it. So that's just uh, missing the one piece that goes on the end. So I prefer to run the one without the tip because it's narrower. That's my time. Thanks for watching.